happen. Well, Tommy, uh, it doesn't surprise me, this. Uh, why would anybody want to eat this gruel is my first question. No way. Plus, it's not healthy to lead a vegan diet. Most science now has established that. I mean, it's a triple whammy for the vegan world. What do you think? Well, I'll tell you this. I come from a ranching family in South Dakota here in the United States. So I firmly believe that uh, a meat-based diet, in addition to plants, is important for your overall health and also the overall economy. So I'm a big advocate for that. But also tell you this, Piers, a couple weeks back we had a major snowstorm here in Tennessee and the grocery stores had pretty much nothing left. Everybody had taken everything, but you know what was left? The fake meat, the impossible yeah. meat. Turns out nobody wanted that. The real yeah. meat, though, that went pretty quickly. quickly. So I think people are finally starting to understand that while I understand animal rights and I understand that nobody likes factory farming, that's something we can discuss. But when you talk about eating meat in addition to plants and having an overall balanced lifestyle, you got to include meat in that because otherwise you're going to be weak, fragile and frail. Yeah, and, and by science the way, proves uh that. No way! You gotta include meat in that because otherwise you're gonna be weak, fragile, and frail. Yeah, and, and by science the way, proves uh, that. Plus, it's not healthy to lead a vegan diet. Most science now has established that. Because otherwise you're going to be weak, fragile and frail. Yeah, and, and by science the way, proves uh, that. to bring in Jamie, by the way, that's what animals do. Go to the jungle and they all eat each other.
way uh, that. to bring in Jamie. By the way, that's what animals do. Go to the jungle and they all eat each other. Yeah, well, first of all, thank you so much for having me on the show to offer another perspective. Some of the top athletes in the world, such as Kyrie Irving, Novak Djokovic, Chris Paul, are on plant-based diets. Would we say to them, oh, well, you guys are not healthy? I mean, they're exceeding, they're winning championships in their respected sports. The outliers. So the top Scientists also at Oxford University, Harvard University, are claiming that we can live and thrive on a plant-based diet. So I don't know. Yeah, but we here's believe the thing, Jamie. No healthy i mean they're exceeding they're winning championships in their respected sports the so the top scientists also at oxford university harvard university are claiming that we can live and thrive on a plant-based diet so i don't know yeah, but here's the thing jamie nobody wants to because nobody wants to the reason these restaurants are going out of business nobody likes vegan food apart from die-hard vegans and i never meet a, a healthy i never meet a healthy looking vegan meet one who doesn't yap on and on and on about being a vegan. You know, I like yeah, steak, but I don't talk about it 24-7. And I never meet a, he a healthy, I never meet a healthy looking vegan. And I never meet one who doesn't yap on and on and on about being a vegan. You know, I like yeah. steak, but I don't talk about it 24 seven. Yeah, and you know, I definitely feel for the financial insecurity some of these business owners are facing. It's terrible, I agree. Well, that'd but be fine if you put meat back on the menu. 
I feel for the animals that are forced into gas chambers who have their lives taken from them. I'd say maybe get a new chef, add some seasoning on there. There's amazing plant-based options and alternatives that can give you that same taste, satisfaction, pleasure. No, that's the, I but mean, that's the thing, you see. It doesn't, it doesn't taste as good, Tommy, does it? I mean, I've, I've looked at this stuff. It, they call themselves like vegan sausage rolls. It doesn't taste like a sausage roll. No, and, you know, if, if vegan and, and plant-based food was so great, they wouldn't go out of their way to try to make it taste like actual meat. So mm -hmm. I think that, that proves the point. point in and of itself. But I would say this, if we can find some common ground here, I think that that would be excellent. I'm against factory farming as well. I don't believe in cruelty to animals as far as shoving chickens in cages or having animals live on feedlots their entire lives. So there's a solution to this. We can go back to uh, American or maybe UK base for you guys, farmers and ranchers that raise their livestock in a humane way. And if you're able to, instead of buying the stuff in the grocery store, go and find somebody that has a ranch or a farm and get your meat from that source. Maybe that way we can be sustainable, okay. we can be Let's strong be and healthy, that, and we can Jamie, also eliminate you've got 30 uh, seconds, the Jamie. Cruelty. We've reached a point of sure. agreement, I think, maybe. I don't think so. No, vegans are not against farmers. We're against animal cruelty. And at the end of the day, these animals still end up at the slaughterhouse with their throat slit. And so that's really where the problem lies. We are at, we make we make plant-based options taste like meat because we didn't give up meat because we didn't like the taste. We gave it up because we didn't want to see animals suffer. And that's what veganism is. It's about showing kindness and compassion for all living beings. Okay.
and compassion for all living beings. OK, listen, I hear you. I don't... I mean, I don't, I'm not... I'm like Tommy. I'm not... I, I don't like a lot of the animal cruelty that goes with the meat business, and that can certainly be worked on. But, boy, I love eating meat, and no vegan's ever going to change my mind. Sorry. Tommy, great to see you. Jamie, thank you very much. I appreciate it.